have to do it, don't I? I have to talk about the giant syphilitic green penis monster. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. In the annals of Doctor Who, there are very few monsters that are ridiculed as much as the titular creature from the titular pit in The Creature from the Pit. And as a side note, can we comment on the dialogue in this story? The villain of the piece, which is actually not the penis monster, is the Lady Adrasta, who is not the penis monster, and believe me, I will get to that in a minute. No, the villain is the Lady Adrasta, who is often referred to as an analog of the Iron Lady herself, Margaret Thatcher. But bear in mind, this story was written and filmed months before Margaret Thatcher became Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Although, if I'm going to continue to go off of tangents on tangents on tangents, it's worth noting that certainly Britain's infamous winter of discontent, which was when there was much unrest amongst the labor unions, in particular the miners in the UK, that general energy and reality is very much reflected in the writing of this story. But getting back to the Lady Adrasta and her dialogues. There's one point in part one where the doctor is drugged to the edge of the titular pit, and when he asks her what it is, she simply says, we call it the pit. And then later on, when Romana asks about the beast that's at the bottom of the pit, the Lady Adrasta similarly says, we call it the creature. So there's a fair bit of on-the-nose writing in this story, and when I've talked about how this season is so great and how much I love this season, trust me, I am not talking about the creature from the pit. There are just so many things working against this story, not the least of which is the giant syphilitic green penis monster that I promise I will get to in a moment. No, this was, although the third story aired, the first story filmed in this season. It was Douglas Adams' first go-around as script editor. It was Law Award's first performance as the Lady Romana. And in both cases, both of them were still very much feeling their way. And this story also features the final appearance of Terry Walsh, who has been a recurring actor and stunt coordinator for the show since all the way back in The Savages. Really, the only recurring bit player I can think of that is as infamous and well-loved as Terry Walsh would be Pat Gorman, who I don't believe is in this story. But Terry Walsh acted as the stunt double for both the third and fourth Doctors. He was pretty much the actor used any time a supporting character had to die in any sort of stunt dynamic situation. Case in point, he is thrown in the titular pit three different times as three different characters in part one of this story. And so it's a little bit sad to see him go, and especially to go on this story of all stories. There's also another major departure in this story, but I'm going to save that up for tomorrow so I have something to talk about besides penis monsters, which means really the only thing I have left to talk about is the damn monster in this story. I mean, look at this thing. The first time this creature appeared on stage on the studio floor, everyone in the studio burst out laughing. Nobody could take it seriously, and you can see why. The head of serials at the BBC was horrified by this obviously phallic monster and demanded that it be modified for future episodes, and so later on in the story it suddenly grows a pair of claws to somehow counterbalance the giant penis, but there is literally no way you can look at this monster and not see a giant probing erect penis. It's just giant green spotted dick all over the screen for this whole story, and it's just... <sighs> look, I'm no prude, and I'm also not gay, so I'm not into giant dicks, but I'm not offended by the presence of a giant green spotted deck. It's just bad. It's just awful. Oh, this story. Oh my god. And I have another day of it. And uh, I 
guess it suits that it's today of all days that I have to watch this episode. And on that note, I'm going to go suffer through what may be the final day of humanity. And uh, we'll see. If the world doesn't burn to the ground tonight, I will see you tomorrow with the second half of the giant green syphilitic penis from the pit. I'll see you.